Rockstar Games just released their brand new Chop Shop Winter DLC update for GTA Online, and there are more than 78 hidden fixes and secret changes that Rockstar didn't tell you about within this update. We're of course going to be uncovering all of them today, and there's so much to go over, so let's get into it. Brand new to the Chop Shop DLC update in GTA Online is a slew of new experience improvements. The interaction menu itself has received a revamp here, making essential functions more accessible and user-friendly. Exploring free mode becomes even more exciting with updated weapon pickups scattered across new locations and offering an expanded arsenal to discover. Eclipse Boulevard garage owners can now customize their experience with custom garage tooltips for each floor, adding a personal touch to their automotive sanctuaries. Transition times between game modes have been reduced for a smoother gaming experience, and players no longer face rank restrictions when purchasing throwables. For those on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, the Los Santos Car Meet specification service is now available, expanding the Car Meet experience. Registering as a CEO, VIP, or MC president for the first time comes with a personal touch as players can name their organization or MC. To keep things balanced, the up and atomizer is disabled when inside interiors to prevent any accidental entrapment. Voice chat now also defaults to off on console platforms, allowing players to enable it in the settings menu. In the latest GTA update, players on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S are in for a big treat here with the introduction of the vehicle organization section in the interaction menu, providing a convenient way to to manage their prize vehicle collections across various garages that they own. Now, players can choose to restrict in-game phone text messages to friends and crew only, or opt for complete blockage of text from other players, offering more control over their gaming experience. Starting a private takeover now rewards players with Los Santos car meet reputation, and jukeboxes inside player properties can groove to any radio station for that perfect atmosphere. Pursuit and street races in the car meet scene now grant 20% more reputation, enhancing the rewards for these thrilling activities, and the Reporting in the game has seen improvements as well, with updated player reporting and player-created job reporting options. We also have the new Salvage Yard business. When you decide to invest in the Salvage Yard, you're not just acquiring a business here, you're unlocking a wealth of opportunities in this game. This purchase grants you access to an array of lucrative activities and services, and every week, Salvage Yard owners have the chance to embark on three multi-part free mode Salvage Yard robberies. These heists involve meticulous planning and execution to steal high-value vehicles that can either be later sold or salvaged for a handsome profit. Additionally here, as a Salvage Yard owner, you have the option to purchase the tow truck, providing access to a tow truck service. And with this service, you can scour the streets for abandoned vehicles and bring them back to the yard for future salvage. The best part here is that engaging in the tow truck work not only contributes to your earnings, but also temporarily boosts the rate at which your Salvage Yard generates passive income with the safe. As the Salvage Yard operates, salvage vehicles are also gradually stripped down for their valuable parts. And once that progress is complete, you can expect a substantial payment for your efforts. And for those seeking a bit of extra challenge and recognition, this property introduces new awards and career progress challenges exclusive to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S console owners, so get ready to turn this investment into a big enterprise within GTA Online for your character. Next up, we have Drift Races. If you've got a Los Santos Car Meet membership, then you're in for an adrenaline pumping treat with the introduction of these races in the game. These races aren't your typical circuits as well. They're all about precision and style, and your goal here is to score big by stringing together flawless drifts, narrowly dodging obstacles, and building up all those important score multipliers. It's a test of skill and finesse like never before. Now, if you want to dive into these thrilling drift races, you can either spot the new series blip on the map, or simply head over to the race organizer at the Los Santos Car Meet. And what makes these races even more exciting is the availability of custom drift tuning upgrades for a total of seven existing vehicles and one brand new addition, the Fathom FR36 Coupe. These drift tuning upgrades can also be applied to the following personal vehicles in free mode while you're inside the Los Santos car meet as well. So let's talk about those new vehicles. We have the Grati Turismo Amagio, the Vapid Illusion, the Declassi Vigoro ZX Convertible, the Karen Vivanite, the Fathom FR36, the Vapid Dominator GT, Declassi Impaler LX, Karen Asterope GZ, the Vapid Stanier LE Cruiser, which is a police cruiser, the Vapid Unmarked Cruiser, which is basically just a stealth cruiser, and then the Police Riot Van. GTA Online's arsenal also welcomes the addition of a new battle rifle, and it is now available for purchase from the gun van and the agency armory. If you're a fashion enthusiast, then you're in luck, because we have over 150 new pieces of clothing and accessories which are now available for both male and female characters alike. Don't forget to check out the new hairstyles as well at the barbershop, as well as the 32 tattoo options at the tattoo parlor. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S players, this one's for you right here. 
Free mode now features ambient animals. You can either enable or disable them in the creator, so definitely get ready to encounter lots of wildlife as you roam around the streets. We also have new daily challenges, and these daily challenges have replaced the old daily objectives in the interactive menu, so get ready for a fresh set of these challenges to conquer every single day. And you can celebrate your character's birthday with a special in-game gift. These presents are retroactive, so no one's left out of the party. I don't have any details on exactly what they are just yet. Next up, GTA Plus members. There are some exciting updates that do add a touch of luxury to your experience compared to other players. Rockstar has introduced the Vinewood Car Club Garage, which is a lavish space that offers additional room for a staggering 100 extra vehicles. It's the ultimate haven for car enthusiasts and collectors here, and it's a place where you can showcase your impressive collection and style. Now here's the great part. Say if you pay for GTA Plus to get this garage, and then you stop paying for it or your membership expires, any vehicles you've stored within this garage remain accessible to you. You will not lose access to these vehicles, however there is one catch here. Once your membership lapses, you will not be able to replace any vehicles or add any more vehicles to that garage. It's basically just going to stay as is, and if you want to make more changes, you'll need to resubscribe to GTA+. Plus. And while that's a fantastic experience for existing members, I understand for sure, especially with me being on PC and other players on PS4 and Xbox One, we're all pretty disappointed to not have access to this premium option, but I think it's all essential to keep in mind that the gaming landscape is going to continue to evolve here. Different platforms have varying features, but I hope at least that Rockstar will continue to make other exciting content accessible to a broader audience in the future with other updates. But when it comes to this content addition for personalization and extra vehicle storage, I think the writing's on the wall here that Rockstar is trying to get us to move to newer consoles. I know everyone's finances are different and they may not be able to afford one and they may not be possible for some players, but that doesn't change Rockstar's strategy here. Now also in the latest creator update, Rockstar has brought a slew of enhancements that empowers players to craft even more immersive and customized experiences in the game, so whether you're creating intense races or unique scenarios, these features are designed to elevate your creativity and add depth to your content. Starting with the general improvements, creators now have the ability to preview weather options within the creator, ensuring you can set the perfect atmosphere for your creations. Additionally, the option to block specific weather conditions from appearing in lobbies during your creative process adds a new layer of control. And moving on to the race creator, you'll find a wealth of new tools at your disposal. The introduction of units allows you to craft complex scenarios involving both people and vehicles, and for the people aspect, you can include a race starter to kick things off, a crowd of six to eight individuals in various positions, and for the vehicles, you can play stationary vehicles, police roadblocks of different sizes, and race crowd roadblocks of varying dimensions. Furthermore, customization takes the center stage with options to configure the layout of your race's starting grid based on the criteria like most and least races played, highest and lowest win ratio, and even the highest to lowest position on the leaderboard, and this appears exclusively during those playlists. Catch-up options have also been expanded, granting hosts greater control over the desired catch-up rate, and players can also choose from six different ambient traffic levels, providing additional depth to their races that they created. Now, if you're into stunt races, good news. You can enable the GTA mode during their creation, adding an extra layer of excitement here. Additionally, players can prevent competitors from exiting their vehicles during GTA races, which is going to enhance that chaos since everyone's going to be stuck to their car. And the wrong way indicator can now be disabled for a more challenging experience, and you can even lock the time of day for your race. Lastly, for those seeking a fairer race experience, you now have the option to disable the race start boost and even turn off catch up and slipstream for specific checkpoints, ensuring that everyone starts on an even playing field. And these creator updates overall open the door to endless possibilities here, and I think this allows us all to shape the GTA Online world according to our own imagination. We have various deathmatch updates in this game as well, where in the deathmatch creator, you can set the number of teams and improve the leaderboard functionality, and there's also new props like road smoothing, colorful traffic cones, painted signs, and more. The Chop Shop update from Rockstar also brings with it a series of crucial fixes aimed at addressing various issues across GTA Online, and these fixes touch upon different aspects of the game to enhance the overall player experience. First and foremost, Rockstar has prioritized improving game stability and performance, successfully resolving multiple crashes and issues that have been affecting the gameplay and stability of GTA 5. In terms of matchmaking and networking, Rockstar has also diligently tackled numerous issues that were causing disruptions in our gameplay, and then other content-related issues have also been meticulously addressed here, from resolving issues in various heist missions, such as the Pacific Standard Job and Data Leak, to fixing problems with gameplay elements like parachute appearances and wanted levels during 
sell cargo missions, Rockstar has left no stone unturned here. Moreover, we have other fixes, such as it issues that were ironed out with the F-160 Raiju jet, elevator access, and modification of vehicle trim colors. All of these have been expertly dealt with here. And lastly, Rockstar's attention to detail extends to vehicle-related issues, making planes and jets more appropriately susceptible to bullet damage and addressing discrepancies in vehicle mods and functionality. Now, overall, this update to GTA Online has elevated all of our experiences, and we have a lot of fixes from Rockstar that I think play a crucial role in achieving that goal. And for a comprehensive list of all of the smaller, more miscellaneous changes and fixes, be sure to check out the GTA Online 1.68 patch notes, which I will have linked in the description below for more information. Basically, to sum it all up, this update from Rockstar brought an exciting array of new content and improvements from that salvage yard business to all the lucrative robberies, the tow truck service, the drift races, the Los Santos car meet member perks, the garage, etc. Lots of different game fixes. Whether you're new to the game or you're a longtime player, I think there's something for everyone within this update. And with that said, we're going to be wrapping things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.